We agree with America's founders and the ancient Greeks about the questionable character of anyone so gauche as to actively seek public office. Such a one is obviously too self-absorbed to have the common good or the interests of typical Americans foremost in thought. Historian Joseph J. Ellis has written that Adams, like Jefferson, indeed like any self-respecting statesman of the era, had no intention of campaigning for the office of president. The very notion that a candidate should openly solicit votes violated the principled presumption that such behavior itself represented a confession of unworthiness for national office.